Bam. Good morning. We're here at the bins. We are excited for a great day of thrifting and we're going to take you along with us. So let's see if we can find two items that will sell for $75 or more. We are excited for this and we want you to rate our haul. Tell us how we did. So when you go to the bins, you don't want to go in without a plan. So the first few moments when the bins first open are really important and you want to go to your strong point. So whatever it is that you have a specialty in, we love selling shoes in there easy to look through quickly so we can get through quite a few bins all at once and that's usually our plan when we get into the bins that's where we go first and then we move on to clothes and then we move on to other types of bins alan edmund classic brand that you can be on the lookout for you can almost always sell good alan edmund shoes because it's just a high quality brand that people are on the lookout for and this even has the name on it bergamo so easy to look up Here you have a pair of J. McLaughlin sandals, and these are really cute. I feel like these are very stylish. J. McLaughlin is definitely one of those brands that is like definitely a more mature brand, but some of their newer stuff is really cute. These are really nice, like the insoles, they look like they've never been worn, but on the bottoms, like definitely. they definitely have been worn. So we're <laughs> like, this person keeps their feet really clean. <laughs> The next tip is to don't forget to look through your items. So I pick up these Coconut by Matisse. And as you see, they're really nice. Got great embroidery, but look, look at right there. It is messed up. So I definitely had to put it back. So you can do two things. You can do it while you're digging or you can do it while you're doing comps. Or both. Or both. Yeah, you should definitely actually look through your items more than once. Neither is really wrong, but definitely just be sure you look through your items. So don't be afraid to look outside your specialty. We pick up this lens here and that's not something that we usually sell. We usually sell mostly clothes and shoes. And even though we're trying to focus more on clothes and shoes, we definitely still look through these bins because we find some high quality items. And then we also find things for our own home like this that you see Kang has right here that we took home for ourselves. Treat yourself. So we've got a Nikon lens and an extra little filter on it. So I'm gonna sell them together. I figured I'd take a chance, set the bins. I looked it up, maybe $40, $50 if it works. Stuff like this, I love to take a chance on because such a small little thing can sell for a lot. So camera equipment, huge, huge, huge market. I found this. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. It does look like Elvis type thing. Definitely very like 80s almost. I feel like it's very 80s. But it's by Leslie Fay and so definitely vintage. It's union made. So I think this should do really well because it's just so unique. I mean, obviously Leslie Fay I think was like a catalog brand, so I'm sure that it's not like one of a kind, but it is very, very cool. The next tip is don't be afraid to use your personal knowledge. We are new parents. Baby stuff is really expensive. And if you just take a look at this, it looks high quality and it's a baby carrier. So why not just take a look at it and use whatever experiences you have in the real world, you know, all the hobbies that you have and all the things that are going on in your life. Because people who do have a lot of specialty knowledge can make a lot of money. We've got a baby carrier by Mission Critical. And I kind of know that this brand is kind of higher end, I guess you could say, for baby stuff at least. Mm -hmm. This will probably go for between $60 and $80. For when dads have to carry the baby, they don't want to look, you know, too girly. They <laughs> need to be manly. <laughs> exactly. So it looks <laughs> kind of tactical in that way, right? So this is something that is definitely marketed towards military or police force guys who just want to have this tactical look because I know that my brother has this particular brand. 
Look at this guy. He's crossing the line, taking a look at stuff, and you know he is up to no good. The tip is, don't be like this guy because he is just ready to pounce. Look at this guy, rushing right when everyone is allowed to go. I don't know what he got, but don't be like that guy. Try to balance your enthusiasm with being polite. Obviously, if you see something really good or a grail, it's hard to not be excited, but at the same time, it's kind of rude to just jump right in front of people. So curb your enthusiasm. Curb your enthusiasm. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, right. at the end of the day, I think we sometimes do it too, you know, jump to a bin. But I don't know that we've ever crossed someone to do it. Just make sure that you're being mindful of that it, it is pretty rude, but at the same time, I totally get it. Here are a pair of pants by the brand 511 Tactical. We love selling this brand. We just recently picked up four pairs of these pants and I've sold through three of them already. And they're definitely one that people are looking for. They're easy to find the style name and all of that. And so they're super easy to list. Our next tip is don't pick up any projects like this sweater. We ended up putting that back because it was yellowed and you really want to focus on things that you are actually going to list and for us that means no projects, no stain treating, no sewing, no removing buttons, adding buttons, anything like that. That's going to be a block for us to actually get to listing that item and it will end up in our desk pile. So we put those back before we leave the bins. Here we have a vintage Banana Republic. It's a hunting jacket or maybe a fishing jacket or a vest. Yes. Jinx. And the tag is ripped out. It looks like it's like extra large or XXL. Well, large. we'll put measurements in the listing. Yeah, like definitely. we're not just gonna make an assumption, but we'll put the measurements in the listing, cross check on the size yep. chart, and then make an estimate. Next tip, don't be afraid to pick up heavy items. This particular bin had a lot of heavier items and I think that's why a lot of people left it. So you'll see here that I picked up this camel bib. It's really heavy for price per pound. You really have to consider if it's worth it. And to me, it's at least worth putting in my cart. So this is a double tip for you. You want to just put things in your cart and look things up later if you're feeling like it's a really good bin and you have to get back to digging. And so when you have a good feeling about a bin, these two tips will serve you well. Hey babe, come here. Look at that. King of the mountain sports. Cool. Bam. Cool. Great <laughs> the best find of our day. We're shooting for $400 on this thing. Yeah. It's insane. We've got yeah. two pieces and both of them will probably be sold together. Definitely, definitely be on the lookout for this and just be open to picking up camo and hunting things because a lot of the mm -hmm. specialty things for that type of hobby is really expensive so mm -hmm. this i don't know why no one picked it up but it was sitting there and i love it when that happens because mm -hmm. when we see something like this we love to just grab it and take a chance on it mm -hmm. we can always toss it back yeah so anyway exactly. crazy crazy find So Kang found this dress and it is so beautiful. It's a vintage dress. It's got a little built-in bra, which is kind of cool. And so it's D. Weiss Designs, Swim and Sun Fashions. Pretty interesting. I think it is so beautiful. It looks like it's in pretty good condition. So I think we should get a good amount of money for this. Yeah, I know how to pick up vintage stuff, okay? I learned from the master. I'm getting pretty decent at it. So insanely good. Tell us some of the great things that you got. Well, I got some Johnny Wes. 
So this is just kind of your basic Johnny Wise. It is embroidered, but it's not like super colorful or anything. But I was so excited to find this. I have been on a Johnny Wise drought recently at the bin. So I was excited to end that and find a new piece. And this is a new tag to us. We haven't seen this tag before. I mean, we've seen it on the internet, but not in person. So we are excited to add that to our collection. Got a couple Lululemon pieces. This is a Lululemon top. It's a long sleeve one, but I knew when I saw it that it was a Lululemon even before I, you know, pulled the tag. I just could tell from the way it felt. And I picked up a lot of Lululemon this day, so I'm pretty excited to list all of it. Definitely doesn't do as well as it used to, but still does pretty well. It's just a basic jacket. I think it's older because it doesn't have the style number in there, but I still think it should do well because it's a size 12, so that's a pretty good size. Lululemon sweatpants, they I believe are men's style. You can tell the difference between Lululemon women and men is women have numerical sizes and men have letter sizes, like small, medium, large versus, you know, zero, two, four, six. So that's a pretty easy way to tell the difference. Even now, men's Lululemon sells kind of better than women's. Mm -hmm. I got for Love and Liberty. This is for Love and Liberty. So this is, I think, a swim cover up. And For Love and Liberty is underneath the Johnny Was, you know, it's a line in Johnny Was. So definitely be on the lookout for it. You know, it's one that you might not think of as Johnny Was because obviously it doesn't say Johnny Was anywhere. But For Love and Liberty is definitely something to be on the lookout for. And so I found this in the same bins as the Johnny Was top. I got some... A bunch of new tags and Free People stuff. Yeah, new tags. Nice. And so all yeah. in all, like 84 pounds of clothing. Yeah. Just crazy and a lot of hard goods. Uh -huh. So almost 100 pounds yeah. worth of stuff. Yeah, I got a printer. It's an HP printer and this looks like it's still new in the box, maybe new open box. Some of them were selling for like 200 down to 100. Nice. So we'll see, I, it's in the box and so I didn't open yeah. the box because so, it's new. Yeah, we got, got it. a little treat. Yep. <laughs> so we definitely got two $75 items and it's just going to be really cool. Hopefully you'll watch through the whole thing. Got a lot of highlights for you. Mm -hmm. Here's the rest of what we got in one of the best hauls that we've had in such a long time. This is a nightgown set, a, um, I'm not going to say it right, a peignoir set. And so when I looked this up, it looked like it was going for about $50. This is not in the best condition, the nightgown itself, but the like night coat I guess isn't in the best condition. The other ones that I saw had just like the nightgown or just the like little shawl thing so I think having both is really good and that's a rarity to find in the bins. This is a naked cashmere sweater. I pick up most cashmere that I find in the bins if it's in good condition you know no holes not a lot of pilling and so I'm excited to see how this will do if it's just kind of like a no name brand then I usually price my cashmere at about $20 but if it's a nice brand then I price it a little higher. And it is, in fact, 100% cashmere. We yeah. Looked. Yeah. Because there is that brand that's called like Cupcakes and Cashmere, and they make stuff with polyester. And so it's like, that's a little misleading. Okay. So another new to us brand is Stella McCartney. So we have never found this brand before. It's been on our bolo list. It's a Stella McCartney for kids. So probably not worth as much as regular Stella McCartney, but really excited to list this. I think this is so cute. It's like clouds and it's got the rainbow. Very, very cute. This is a sweater by Vince. And the reason I picked this up, I've had pretty good luck selling some Vince sweaters that have like interesting you know, material. And this one is 30% alpaca. So that's a good amount of alpaca in there. Like often when things are, have something alpaca in there, it's only like 2% or like 5%. So 30% alpaca, like that's fancy. Here we have a Lucky Brand pea coat, and this is just a basic pea coat, but it's in really nice condition. I think it should sell for like 30 or $40. A naked cashmere sweater. And this is a cool kind of marled knit color. And so it should do pretty well because it's a bit of a thicker knit. Thicker knit stuff does tends to do better because it's more expensive originally. Mm -hmm. Another Johnny Was piece? No. no. It's Free People. It's Free People. This is a Free People top and I think it's reversible. It's really cute. This is very eye-catching. So when I found it in the bins, obviously it caught my eye. And so I picked it up and we found a good amount of Free People this day. We don't usually find all that much of it, but... These are really nice pieces. Usually we find like kind of older stuff, like yeah, whatever. We'll put them back. Yeah. But these ones are pretty good. This is a slip dress. It's by Diane von Furstenberg. And so that was the reason I picked it up. I just think it's so beautiful. 
and I definitely see people wearing these like out right now that's kind of the style and so I'll see how this says but it has a big rip on the front so not great but it is on a seam so if someone was crafty like that they could just sew it up really easily we're not we're not this is the free people dress and it is actually new with tags so really excited about that it seems like someone maybe donated a lot of their free people stuff, but really excited for this. I'm not sure, you know, I have to look up to see like what it's called and stuff and you know how recent it is. Okay, this is a new with tags item from Urban Outfitters and you will not believe how much this cost at Urban Outfitters. $59. $59, that's crazy. Like it is so little fabric, like it's so tiny. So anyway, I picked it up because that is a really high price for something so little and so i figure i can get at least 20 dollars for it i did a comp on this brand frankie shop we'll see how it goes but i'm thinking 30 dollars, 40 dollars. it's kind of weird it's got shoulder pads yeah kind of built in and you can't even remove them we'll see how it goes they don't want you to remove them you know yeah, they pretty easy keep them. here we have a pair of columbia snow pants and i pick up some columbia not all of it but the more substantial pieces and so i picked these up because i've sold columbia snow pants in the past and they've sold pretty well so i'm hoping that these will be a fast sale well i don't know because next year next year a fast sale next year <laughs> yeah. 60 percent of the time it works every time that doesn't make sense so this is a purse by the brand gun totin mamas and i just picked it up on a whim i thought it seemed nice and when i looked it up it looks like they were going for about 30 to 50 dollars so I think I can clean this up a little bit, kind of wipe off some of the dust and maybe polish the leather a little bit and get probably close to $50 for it. It's Tiva season, so we picked up these Tivas and they are in really good condition on the bottoms. The tops, like somehow with this Velcro, like, or hook and loop as you have to say on eBay, gets really hairy really fast. You know, like all of this stuff gets caught in there, but I think if we kind of dust them off a little bit, they'll be really nice. These are some rag and bone booties and I thought these were so cute. And so I picked them up. They still seem like they're in really nice condition, like maybe worn a few times, but whoever had them kept like the little shaper things in them, like a little bit of newspaper. So these are in really nice shape. I got this citrus set and these i like to pick up they're super cheap especially at the bins and they sell you know usually for maybe like ten dollars some can sell really well i actually didn't look this one up because i thought maybe i would want to do it i think it's so cute we'll see i'll probably list it and if it doesn't sell within a couple months then i'll stitch it myself i picked these to boot new york shoes up we've had some decent luck in the past with to boot new york just one pair of shoes in the past but i remembered that the comps are really good the previous pair of shoes that I got were like in really rough shape and they still sold for like $30. I think with this kind of in rough shape still, they're, they're like misshapen. Yeah. yeah, like pretty, someone's yeah. someone's feet were a little bit too wide for this guy. Yeah. yeah. And I think that if we can reshape it decent, then mm -hmm. we can get like 50 or $60 for this. It's mm -hmm. definitely a hit or miss if you have certain styles, just like most shoes, but mm -hmm. these are pretty classic. Picked up a pair of teaks and so I was excited to find these. These are in pretty good condition. So often when we find them, they're like a little bit scuffed, you know, here, like this is not in very good condition, mm -hmm. but these look like they have been, they've definitely been worn, but they are not like in rough shape. Like there's a little bit of wear on the insole, but that's about it. And so I'm really excited to sell these. I think these are a really cute color too. Mm -hmm. So hopefully these do really well. The funny thing about teaks is that I often find them in bins that people have already gone through. I think that people just like don't know about them in our bins. I don't know. Which is so it's great. pretty interesting. Yeah, I feel like I find these and Rothy's pretty often in like shoe bins that people have already looked through. So I'm kind of like, what is going on? But anyway. Good for us. Good for us. I picked up a pair of APL slide on sneakers. APL is Athletic Propulsion Labs. And I think that it's part of Lululemon or like associated with Lululemon somehow. These are in pretty good shape. They do have one like little paint mark on them, but I think that they should do well. People love these like for walking and stuff. This is definitely a like sneaker brand to look out for for women. Be on the lookout for them, but make sure that, you know, the bottoms are still in pretty good condition. This is a Banana Republic dress and I just picked it up because I thought it was cute and the midi length dresses definitely do better than like the mini ones. And this one seemed pretty recent and I've been doing pretty well with Banana Republic stuff recently. This one was a bit of a risk and it's a silk dress and it's new old stock. So it still has the tag on it, 
but it definitely has been like stored somewhere and is older. It's just a sample dress. Hopefully this will do well. I think going into prom season, I could see someone wearing this to prom or even like as their wedding dress. Like I just think it's so beautiful. So I decided to pick it up and see how it does. I think it's Adele Wechsler. Oh, Adele. I'm pretty sure it's German. This is a polo Ralph Lauren. It's a blazer or like a suit jacket. And I believe that it was part of like a larger suit piece. Like maybe there was a dress that went underneath it because it definitely is a women's item. It's a size 12. And so I think that there was a matching dress that went under this that was like maybe a mini dress, but this was super expensive and it's still new with tags. So I think I can get a good amount of money for this, even though the dress isn't there. I could see you wearing like a plain black mini dress with this, like at the same length as this blazer. That would be so cute. Okay, we thought this was cute. I picked it up because I thought Camilla would like it and maybe we would sell it because it's vintage. It's yeah. got this cool like, um, ribbon on the bottom with the name of the boutique so i thought that was very yeah really very nice touch see. union made i'm pretty sure yep, yeah it's got definitely. the union tag mm -hmm. and when i see something that i think camilla likes i pick it up she makes a fine decision mm -hmm. this is a lulu's dress i pick up a lot of lulu's new with tags i think that people buy these and then they don't return it on time and you know they buy a couple to try on to see like which one they want to wear as a bridesmaid dress and then you know lose track of them and stuff and then donate them to Goodwill where I pick them up and sell them to people who want a cheaper bridesmaid dress option. This is the J. Jill jacket and I pick up most J. Jill that I find especially kind of the more substantial pieces like jackets and dresses and it's one of our favorite bread and butter brands to sell. We have a pretty good sell through rate on J. Jill actually. This is a dress by the brand Lovers and Friends and it's a brand that sold on Revolve. When I looked up comps it seemed like they were a little bit all over the place but I thought this was really cute. It's like definitely a mini micro mini dress and I think it would be so cute for the summer so I think that this should do well. Here we have a poncho by Reba. It's new with tags otherwise I probably wouldn't have picked it up but I did that and it's pretty interesting you know kind of an interesting look but I think that you know people who are buying Reba branded things will really like this poncho. Yeah apparently Reba is like opening like a um like, you know, Dollywood, like Reba is opening like mm -hmm. her version of Dollywood. Reba Wood. Reba Wood. Here's a skirt by the brand Floriette or Florette. I'm not sure which way you say it, but it's just a pencil skirt and it's got some, you know, studs on there. I thought it was pretty cute. So I picked it up. I have been having pretty good luck with skirts recently. I've sold quite a few and I don't find them very often. So I like to pick them up when I do. This is a vintage dress and it's homemade. And I thought it was so cute. I thought it was like very retro looking. And so hopefully this should do well. I think it definitely looks like pinup style. So I picked it up and we'll see how it does. This is a dress by the brand Scala and it's a silk dress and I think it is so pretty. So I'm hoping to get probably like $50 for this, maybe even more depending on if I see any flaws in its condition, but I think this would be so cute for like a prom or something like that. And it's definitely Y2K style. So I could, I could really see some, you know, a teenager wearing this. Another free people piece. This is a very, very chunky sweater. Definitely like classic free people, boho, very hippie style, all that kind of stuff. Here we have a dress by the brand Julia Jordan. I thought this was so pretty, so I picked it up. Julia Jordan, I think is sold maybe at Nordstrom. I feel like I see it at Nordstrom Rack. I picked this up because I thought it would be perfect for like spring weddings or just like summer parties and stuff like that. So really, really cute. And it's nice and modest. Like it has a high neckline and a long, you know, skirt. So I will definitely use that as a keyword. Yeah, so these are, pair of pants they are like brush guard pants so that's what that's called when it's this extra thick fabric down the legs it's for when you're walking through brush so that you don't get like stuff stuck on your legs you know it goes through your pants or anything like that and we've had pretty good luck selling these in a couple different brands these are columbia ones so i picked these up knowing you know what they're called and you know how to list them so i picked up a bunch of silk scarves they are super lightweight and they're different brands so some brands do better than others but I decided to pick these up because yeah, they're super lightweight. I can list them, you know, when I want to, and I can use them in the meantime. And I just think that they're so beautiful. So I don't want them going to the landfill or getting recycled, you know. Here I have a Talbot's blazer. I thought this was a really beautiful blazer. I love the design of it. So I picked it up. I am pretty picky with Talbot's right now. I am trying not to pick up a lot of basic Talbot stuff. I have a lot of Talbot's listed in my closet. So 
I don't want to add more to it that aren't going to sell. Here we have a Sundance top, just a velvet burnout top. Sundance we usually pick up, it can sell between like $20 up to like $40 or $50 depending on the material and you know how recent the piece is. This is another pair of brush guard pants. These are Wrangler jeans and so we sold, I think, regular ones before, so I, you know, will just price them pretty similarly and sell them off. Definitely people are looking for these. I'm not sure exactly what the season is for brush guard pants, but I feel like the last time they sold pretty quickly. Here we have another free people dress, and it's one of those ones that, like, is super weird, so it goes like... It has an open back, so it's kind of funky. Okay. So it goes like this, and it's black eyelet. I think it's really nice. It's got this interesting tag on there. One that we, I don't think I've ever seen before, but pretty excited for this one. I think, you know, some of the eyelet stuff in the dresses can do pretty well with free people. This is an Orvis hunting vest. This one was in with all the other hunting stuff, and I picked it up because I figured that hopefully once I have a few hunting things, maybe people will bundle them in my closet. So we'll see how that goes. So this is an Orvis hunting shirt and it's definitely got, it's got like this cool contrasting, you know, pattern and it's convertible. So it can be a short sleeve or a long sleeve. I have never seen that before. So I've seen that on like pants, but not shirts. So that's pretty interesting. I think this should do well because of that, because it's like kind of a funky design. And I'm sure that like someone who bought this back in the day when this first came out, loves that shirt and wants to buy it again. So here we have a pair of jeans by Chabot and these are like 90s style jeans and they are really expensive and so we have sold a couple pairs of shorts by this brand and they've done really well so i'm excited to see how the full length pants will do peter millar definitely something we like almost always pick up even if it's got an embroidered logo from a golf club or anything like that mm -hmm. so just make sure you're on the lookout for peter millar it's a high quality brand Great mm -hmm. selfie rate. People just love it. Mm -hmm. Definitely a men's brand to be on the lookout for. So we picked up two Madewell, you know, denim, chambray type things. So this one is a shirt. This one is a dress. They're very basic, you know, bread and butter type things. We'll sell for maybe like $20. But I love picking up Madewell. It's one of those brands that I like having in my closet. This is a shirt by the brand Robert Graham. I like picking up this brand often when I find it. It's not in very good condition because men like love to wear their clothes out like until they are just like trash this one is really nice so i was excited to pick it up this is a woolrich flannel top and you know pretty basic but should sell pretty well for us people love flannels going into fall so a little ways away but probably by the time we are listing this it'll be summer so it'll be good getting ready for the fall i picked up a pair of under armor golf pants and i love selling under armor golf pants they have a great sell through rate for me so that was the reason why i picked these up they won't sell for very much like 15 to 20 dollars but i picked them up because the sell through rate really was what was the deciding factor for me this is a j jill dress i thought it was so cute so i picked it up it has a little bit of a cuter design than some of the other j jill stuff but definitely be on the lookout for j jill it's one of our basic brands that funds our business basically yeah. this is a pair of outdoor voices sweatpants and i have picked up a couple outdoor voices things recently so i'm excited to get them listed it used to be like one of those really really hot brands but it definitely has cooled some things do pretty well these kind of things are just kind of basic maybe 25 dollars. this is a madewell shirt and i believe it is like part of their beach line essentially and it's basically like a towel so very cute i think this should do pretty well it looks Definitely more recent than some of the other Madewell things that I picked up and definitely going into that beach season. This is a real shirt and I picked it up even though Rails doesn't go for quite as much anymore, but I still think, you know, I can get maybe like $25 for this one. This is a pair of Carhartt Carpenter pants. You can see that it's Carpenter because it's got that little hook for your hammer. I picked these up. I pick up most Carhartt that I see and it sells pretty quickly for me. Here we have a Madewell button up and this is a little bit of a thicker fabric so I think it should do well and it's got this cute little speckled detail. Here we have a pair of Torrid work pants. I love selling Torrid. It's one of our, you know, favorite bread and butter brands to sell. I feel like this, this haul had a lot of really great items and then a lot of our like favorite bread and butter brands to sell are you know classic sellers the ones that we sell day in day out and so that is what made this a really great haul either things had a great you know selling price like they are going to sell like that king of the mountain sports for you know a ton of money or they're the kind that sell super fast you know 
quick flips, that sort of thing. So that is like a good combination for us because that means that this haul is going to make us a lot of money. That's what the data shows. So overall, I feel like this was an A plus haul. I don't know. What do you guys think? Easy A plus. Yeah. We want to go for A plus plus next. A plus plus. And obviously we got more than two pieces that are worth $75 or more. So this is really, really good haul. Yeah. So leave a comment down below. How would you rate this haul? What are some of the qualities that you look for in a great haul? What are some of the things that you would say like, oh, this moves it to the next level? Let us know down in the comments. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed, consider subscribing, especially if you love mega bins hauls. We love doing those and we do them somewhat often. Mm -hmm. We wish we could do them more often. We wish that we could get tons of mega bins hauls all the time, but sometimes we go and we just get a few things. And so we feel like that's kind of boring. So we show you the best of the best. So definitely don't compare because this is just the highlight reel. You know, mm -hmm. we're showing you only our best hauls, only the things that we're really excited about. And join us for our What's Old videos every two weeks. Mm -hmm. We'll see you later. Bye. Here we have a pair of Jay McLaughlin sandals and McLaughlin? yeah. It's not Laughlin? No, McLaughlin. Oh. I think. That's it's, okay. it's Irish. Oh, like, okay. like. Oh yeah. Irish people have their yeah. weird pronunciations. Yeah.